Naruto to board to Shinobi Striker is coming to you free on PlayStation. Yes, if you have premium, you will be able to get Shinobi Strikers for free. But most of you guys already have the game. If you're coming up and you're trying to play the game, I highly recommend it. I also have a Discord if you want to get some teammates and learn a few things. Don't worry, don't worry. This is my type of video that I normally do, but sometimes you just have to sit and talk about the state of the game. Guys, if you didn't know this already, but there's not going to be a DLC this month. We did not get a V-Jump scan from the time frame that we normally get them in the month so expect that in november and then you'll see the last dlc probably in december and we'll reset in january for season six i've been seeing a lot of people talking about the new modding reporting system that is in shinobi striker and how does it work and is it actually being filtered and administrated yes it is it's actually going to the dev team and the support team that is now in charge of shinobi strikers that are looking at those reports and seeing if there's any credible information with those reports but please don't just spam the report you're gonna make someone's job harder than it actually is there's actually a huge problem with this report system it doesn't ip ban it only bans the account that has the mod on it so what stops people from making a new account after that account is banned and just doing the same thing over and over again they're just gonna do more work unless they tend to ip ban people from their game which they can easily do i've seen a few things on facebook as saying people are pushing for that custom matchmaking or that private matchmaking i made a video a long time ago without reviewing when private matchmaking was actually in the game so they have the tools to implement that in the game as they did do a private match amongst afro sinju rhyme style and so on so creators for bandai namku's event of publicizing shinobi striker my question for that is is private matchmaking or custom matchmaking really the issue that we really need to solve as of right now for shinobi strikers or is it a small percentage of the community that needs it and that's more of the comp scene the competitive players if you're watching this and you're currently playing or thinking about buying Buying the game you are going to get a lot of crashes if you're on an older console unfortunately they have not fixed that they need to work on that fix before they mess with anything else they need to fix the net code or the crashing issues before we fix anything else in Shinobi Striker. This is a rare occurrence where I do talk over some gameplay and talk to you guys, the audience, the people I don't reflect to or talk to. So use the comments down below if you're still here as a forum. Talk about what you want for Shinobi Strikers. Maybe they'll see it. I don't know if they actually check the content. I want to switch gears here. Let's talk about the future of the game. Naruto to Borto, Shinobi Striker, the newest Naruto game as of right now. Storm 5, where are you at? With that push from PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Premium coming at the end of October, around the 18th, we're going to see a wave of new players or existing players coming back now that they can afford that. Guys, that means more views, more publicity for Shinobi Strikers, and that means maybe potentially more staff for Shinobi Strikers to develop and give out rewards that we actually want. Guys, when is Anbu Itachi here coming back out, right? Those are some questions that we need to be asking. The ranking system in Shinobi Striker is downright horrific and it needs a bit of tweaking they did it to red and white where you are going to have to require more points to get that top reward that top reward isn't even worth fighting for and that is something they really need to tweak you can keep the same points but make s1 s5 something to fight for most people just play for scrolls at this point but let's have something to work for maybe an emblem next to your name maybe a new title next to your name something to start off the ball maybe something that's not game changing to where people who don't have teams can't get that item and now people who do have teams have an unfair advantage but more of a cosmetic reward finding teammates should be easier in the game for example the people you just played with if they're not on a team you should be able to invite the last people you played with inside of shinobi strikers be put in the same lobby and hey this is the guy that you played with last game you guys did well invite him to a party there you go make them friends there we go game is a little bit universal people want to play it longer instead of being solo queue nobody likes to solo queue unless you're just a different breed on the note of playing this game solo some people thought this game was going to be developed and played through a story of your created character that you're going to be the main character inside the naruto universe and then they get into the game and realize that vr missions are really just a side quest to do the ninja world league or fighting against online players and that is pretty disappointing a lot of people like the vr missions and wanted to create a story with their own created character so i think bondi kind of missed an opportunity and maybe this was just a feeler for a game that's coming out where you do have a main character that you design our very next dlc in the game is going to be very on mode naruto now i don't know if he's going to be a defense or any other class but it seems most likely and he will most likely 
indefinitely come out in November. Expect that jump scan from the 11th to about the 17th. Shinobi Striker does have a contract with Bandai Namku to go ahead and put out seven seasons for this game. So we're definitely getting a season six unless they miraculously cancel that contract. And I don't know what that theme's going to be. We never really can guess it unless you're just super smart. I would hope they finish out the Akatsuki, finish out most of the Naruto characters before switching to the Baruto characters in Season 7. There's not many characters left that from Baruto right now because the, the manga and the anime are not really catching up to each other. So I think Code will eventually come out in Shinobi Strikers. I see that around Season 7, which will probably come out at the tail end of next year. Keep that in mind. Also, that means they've been giving this game for five years a new DLC at that point. And honestly, that's a pretty good track record for most Bandai Namku anime games. I asked you guys what videos you wanted to see. Most of you guys said tier list. Most of y'all didn't watch the tier list. So I'm going to spam out build videos all next week. Create some of your favorite builds down in the comments as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. So